Hi, and welcome to the Clarity Adding Assignments and Projects. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. In this video, you will learn how to use the Assignments module to quickly manage tasks and assignments in Clarity. It's critical to remember that the Assignments module is a generic module and is available across various investment types in Clarity. In Clarity 15.8, you can use the Assignment module for projects and custom investments. While we will demonstrate assignments in the context of projects in this video, remember that the concepts covered here can be applied for both projects and custom investments. Many project managers prefer to use the Assignments module for task assignments because it allows them to assign resources to tasks in a single grid versus manually selecting each task and then assigning an associated resource. Let us log into Clarity, open Projects. If you do not see the Assignments module when you open a project, ask your administrator to add the Assignments module to the Blueprint. Be sure the project is assigned to the updated Blueprint. Now you can see that the staff and assignments have already been added to the project. It's important to remember that Clarity allows you to assign resources from different modules. You can assign resources from Assignments, Tasks, or Task List modules. In this video, we will focus on the Assignments module. Let's open the Assignments module. We can see all the tasks in the project and some key fields such as resource, role, start, and finish dates, ETC, and actuals. Let's start by customizing the grid to display the ETC and actuals for every month so that we have a clear idea of how much time resources would spend on the project per month. While the grid now provides more granular information, we still need to arrange tasks in a logical order. Let's add the phase name column to the grid. We can now group the tasks by phase name to arrange them in a logical order and start assigning tasks to resources. Let's assign tasks in the design phase to various resources. Let's also update the ETC for one of the tasks. We can click the refresh to view the updated total. Project managers often focus on critical tasks since they determine the success and failure of a project. Let's use the Details panel to add the critical attribute to the pane. This will allow project managers to simply click a task and open the details panel to see the relevant information that is not visible in the grid. Another use case project managers frequently encounter is to monitor critical tasks that have a significant amount of work pending. Let's use the filter attribute to identify critical tasks where the estimated time of completion is more than 40 hours. We can now save this view and mark it as a favorite. It will be available for other project managers across investments. If you want to download the assignments detail in a CSV file and perform additional analysis, simply click the Export to CSV button. It will export all rows in the columns currently visible in the Assignments grid. I am sure you now understand how to use the Assignments grid in Clarity. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this product, click the Information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.